Mara with the Funky Spork. So, uh, do you all like my new outfit? Pretty cool, huh? Um, but really, in all seriousness, um, as many of you know, we are currently facing a COVID-19 global pandemic, which means that if you are not an essential worker, you gotta stay home, at least here in the United States. And even though I'm already a homebody and introverted, um, I definitely take this crisis seriously. I don't want to go out unless I have to, so I figure why not wear uh, my favorite onesie during today's cooking tutorial. So for today, I'm going to show you how to make some very delicious mouth-watering boom 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 in your face chipotle lentil burgers that are vegan if that sounds like something that you'd want to learn stay tuned and let's get down to business okay folks so these are the ingredients that i am using for the lentil burger patties so um if you got any of these ingredients definitely take notes and you can always make modifications too. Uh, so what I have here is a tahini, and this is actually from Soko, so thank you so much for this. Can't wait to show you how I'm gonna use this. I also have smoked paprika. It gives it a little smoky flavor for the patties. Some canned chipotle sauce, and I got this canned chipotle sauce at a local grocery store in my hometown called El Mirasol Grocery Store, and I'll link that somewhere below, but they're amazing locally owned and operated business. They serve, they sell a lot of really amazing uh, Mexican groceries and products and just some other really cool essentials too. Um, cumin, because cumin has like a nice flavor and it's usually the main flavor you're gonna find in a lot of taco mixes, but you'll see why I'm gonna use this. Uh, cracked black pepper. I don't have actual garlic uh, cloves right now, so taking advantage of what I do have in my non-perishables, I do have garlic powder right here some Himalayan sea salt, but if you have regular salt too, that's fine. I have some oatmeal to bind everything. What's a lentil burger recipe without lentils? So I got some. And last but not least, pumpkin seeds. Yes, pumpkin seeds. Now, a lot of lentil burger recipes have walnuts, but I want to be different and use pumpkin seeds. Um, just because they're just as tasty and they'll give a nice little nuttiness. Um, and you'll see how I'm gonna incorporate those. But um, if you're interested in learning more, let's go ahead and move on and I'll show you how I'm gonna go ahead and prepare everything. After rinsing the dry lentils and removing any small stone or sediment material, place them in a small saucepan with the water, heated to medium high. Gradually add in the salt, pepper, paprika, cumin, and garlic powder. Allow the water to heat until it begins boiling. At that point, cover and lower the heat to low and allow to cook for 25 to 30 minutes or until all of the lentils have absorbed the water. Once finished cooking, set aside. Once the lentils have cooled for at least five minutes, transfer the mixture to a medium-sized bowl. Smash lentils until semi-chunky and then gradually add in the aquafaba and the oatmeal. Mix all ingredients until everything is well combined. Then cover and place in a refrigerator for at least an hour or overnight, or place in your freezer for 30 to 45 minutes. And I actually placed my lentil patty mixture in the freezer because I'm impatient and I don't have time. Take a large skillet, lightly grease or oil and allow it to heat on medium high. Form the lentil mixture into six evenly sized patties. Allow each patty to cook for three to four minutes on each side or golden brown. Then gently flip each patty and allow to cook for three to four minutes on the opposite side. Because the patties might be delicate, it is best to flip them with two spatulas. 
Now, we are going to prepare the chipotle sauce. Place a canned chipotle in a blender or small food processor until all the pepper has become liquefied. Take the blended chipotles out of the blender and place into a bowl, typically like a cereal sized bowl. Gradually add in tahini mix and mix until everything is well blended. If you do not have access to tahini, then sub tahini for mayonnaise. It will be just as tasty, trust me. Finally, you will top each patty with chipotle tahini sauce and assemble with all of your favorite fixins and enjoy. Okay everyone, so let's try this lovely beast of a sandwich. I'm ready and I'm hungry. And I think this was gonna be messy. Okay, let's smush that down. Okay, I got some avocado spillage, but that's okay. <laughs> that's all good. Let's try a nice little bite though. I'm warning you, this is not gonna be sexy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh wow. Oh, that's really good. And the verdict, it's really good, really delicious, and really messy. Folks, there you have it. This is the Chipotle lentil burger. Absolutely delicious. It's actually quite simple to prepare. Um, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and post the recipe link from my blog down below if you're interested in making this for yourself. Um, and if you don't have any ingredients, you can always modify it to your liking. If you're allergic to nuts, feel free to substitute that. This is definitely a dish that I think the kiddos are gonna like and other members of your family, and it's definitely a crowd pleaser and something fun to make while you're in quarantine, like all of us. Um, but anyway, folks, um, if you haven't gotten the chance, please hit that subscribe and notification bell right here. Um, that really means a lot to me. I just want to thank you so much for your support. Um, and I'm also on Patreon. Um, so if you, uh, like my content and you find it to be not just entertaining, but educational and informative for you and your family, please support me on the Patreon platform. The Funky Spork really is a, um, it's my baby. This is definitely a labor of love and anything you can contribute is going to help me just to continue to produce great and amazing content for all of you. And um, also just follow me on my blog at www.thefunkysport.com. I will post all that fun stuff right here below. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating this meal with my husband. Um, you all just stay happy, stay funky, stay fresh, wash your hands and stay inside. I love you all and good night.